And while we've all watched the Super Bowl on TV, a small number of people have been able to witness the big game in person. Kettleland's Carter Schmidt was in Brookings today and talked to someone who attended Super Bowl 14. On January 20th, 1980, the Los Angeles Rams and the Pittsburgh Steelers were set to kick off Super Bowl 14. Over 100,000 fans packed the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. Among those in attendance was Mike Lockram from Brookings. I was in fourth grade. Um, the other uh, brother was in sixth grade, so um, kind of a crew of six that took off. We were in Billings, Montana at the time and jumped in the car and about a 24-hour trip to Pasadena. And uh, we went to Vegas the first night, I remember, and stayed there. Locker went to the game with his dad, brother, and a few other friends of theirs. He was rooting for the Rams. You know, at that time, it was the first, well, they were, I think they were playing in Anaheim at the time, but it was still the Los Angeles Rams. Um, but it was still the first team to make it a, to a Super Bowl in their home market. So a little bit of irony when you consider the Buccaneers playing in their own stadium today. He remembers a lot about the trip, but there is one thing in particular he won't forget. The pregame, and it's like every other big football game, that, that opening kickoff and all the excitement that's in the stadium and the anticipation for it. Um, you know, I, whether it's a favorite moment or not, hard to say, but it's certainly a moment I remember because um, there's just so much build up to those. Even back then, there was so much build up to the game. And Lockroom still has some keepsakes from that day, including the game program, halftime performance placard, a Rammy Whammy, and more. I actually did find the shirt that I bought at the Super Bowl. It does not fit anymore. Um, and then, ironically, as I was going through the old pictures, I found the photo of my dad and I walking. My brother took this. And you may be wondering, how much were the tickets? Tickets for $30 was the face value for him. In Brookings, Carter Schmidt, Cowland News.